Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our Windows 11, 23H2 and 22H2 Patch Tuesday updates rolling out. And for Windows 11, that update will be KB5034123, which rolled out on the 9th of January. Now, this will be an automatic compulsory security update like the Patch Tuesday updates are. They roll out on the second Tuesday of the month. And with this update, we start getting one new feature that's part of two key highlights. Now, Microsoft says, and I'm just going to head to a screenshot for this because this is on a controlled rollout, but Microsoft says that in the coming weeks, they will bring a what they are calling a richer weather experience to your lock screen. This includes dynamic interactive weather updates. So Microsoft, Microsoft says as you hover over the weather on your lock screen, you will see more information. And when you tap or click on the weather card and sign in, Microsoft Edge opens with the full forecast in MSN weather. And this um, I did post on last week was being tested in the Insider program and is now slowly starting to move its way uh, into the stable version. But if you're not seeing it like myself, then just be patient because Microsoft says in the coming week. So that could roll out um, next month or maybe the month after that if you're not seeing it. And just to put this all into perspective, what I'm talking about, if we head to our lock screen, there we go. Here's the weather widget. And this is currently how it looks. And as mentioned, that's going to be upgraded to that what Microsoft is calling that new weather experience. Now, Microsoft says that if you already use weather, and for this, we're going to head over to our personalization lock screen page. They say that if you already um, use weather in the settings personalization lock screen, lock screen status, then they say there's nothing for you to do. Um, also, this new experience will be on by default if lock screen status is set to none. So I have my weather turned on by default for my lock screen. But if you've got none, it will then push it out as weather by default. So just take note of that. And this will be available when your lock screen um, is in either of a couple of different options, window, spotlight, picture or slideshow. So that weather widget, this weather widget will be available if you have window spotlight picture or slideshow. So that's just something else to take note of. So that's the new feature that's rolling out that new and um, dynamic interactive weather widget with weather updates according to Microsoft. And the other key highlight is the update addresses an issue that affects the spell checker. So that's a key little um, bug that's been addressed there. Now those are the key highlights that have rolled out and over and above that, um, the update includes security fixes because it is a Patch Tuesday update which um, do um, address um, important security vulnerabilities. And for Windows 11, there are 35 vulnerabilities that have been addressed. Two are critical. So that's your highest ranked vulnerability. And the two critical are Kerberos security feature bypass vulnerability and there's a Hyper-V remote code execution vulnerability. So two critical, 35 vulnerabilities have been um, patched in total. So this is an important security update. Now with the security side of things out of the way, um, Microsoft also says, which is quite normal, that the update, if we just head back to our Windows update page, update history, Microsoft says that the security update also includes improvements that were part of this update, KB5033375, which was the Patch Tuesday update that rolled out uh, on the second Tuesday of December last year. And because of the holidays, there wasn't any optional bug fix updates. So that's why these features and improvements are now being carried over into uh, the January Patch Tuesday update. Now, I did post a whole video on KB5033375, um, if you would like to go check that out, if you'd like to play catch up. But just to go through a couple of the key highlights that were made available. So as an example, three of them are for Copilot, which obviously Microsoft is trying to fix up and stabilize and bring improvements to. So it adds the ability to use Copilot in Windows across multiple displays, which I think is nice. You can also use Copilot in Windows with Alt Tab. So if we use Alt and Tab, uh, that you can see there that 
when we scroll through those thumbnails, you can see that you can now select Copilot if it is open on your desktop, which I actually think is a nice little small yet significant little improvement. And regarding Copilot, um, Microsoft says you can you can now also use Copilot 10 times when you sign into Windows using a local account. And if you want to use it more, obviously you'd have to sign in with your Microsoft account. And they also mention that um, Windows Spotlight is now set as the default background. So also just take note of that. And it also starts the rollout of account-related notifications in settings. And there was a little bit more, but go check that video out. And obviously we got the bug fixes with that update as well. So quite a lot going on with 5033375, which is now bundled into this update. Now, because we didn't get an optional bug fix update rolling out at the end of December, um, there are four fixes that have rolled out and one of them actually addresses a known issue. But the first is the update addresses an issue that affects the ActiveX control scroll bar. Apparently it does not work in Internet Explorer mode and it also addresses an issue that cause, causes your device to shut down after 60 seconds and addresses an issue that affects the display of a smart card icon. Now this fourth fix is actually quite important because it addresses a known issue that might affect some Wi-Fi adapters. They might not connect to some networks. This might occur after you install KB5033375 or KB5032288. And Microsoft says that this issue is more likely to occur if the Wi-Fi networks use 80.1x to authenticate. And uh, it is not likely that home networks will have this issue. So most not most likely not affecting you as a home user, but nonetheless, that is an important known issue now, which I have posted on previously, that according to Microsoft should be addressed with this update. And if we just head over to Winver about Windows, as always, just to check our build. Winver. And if you are running Windows 11, um, 23H2, uh, the OS build is bumped up to 22631.3007. And if you're running Windows 11 version 22H2, that OS build is 22621.3007. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.